channel. So today we do actually have a very exciting video for everyone and for me as well because I have been, once again, shopping on Wish. I don't know why I am obsessed with Wish at the minute. I don't know why, I just am. And I found some things that I have never ever had before because I've got such voluminous hair. I've always backcombed it and whatever else and I've never ever ever bothered buying wigs. But today, I actually have a little box of wigs sitting over here that I actually bought off Wish. As you can tell by the title, I did do a Wish wig haul. Try saying that five times faster. And I'm going to be trying on all of my lovely wigs for you today. So I've heard a lot of different things about wigs from Wish. Some of them are great, some of them are rubbish, some of them just, you know, just, okay, put a hat on and it'll look cool, but without a hat, you just, not nice. But I thought, do you know what? I'm going to try this for myself and we're actually going to see what it's like. So if you are brand new to my channel, do feel free to subscribe down below and hit that notification bell so that you know every time I upload a new video. But now, let's get into trying some wigs on. Oh, you will notice that everything does have a hole or has been unpackaged. Only this, this bit has been unpackaged. The reason why is because I've been buying a lot of things off Wish recently. So they have been opened so that I know exactly what is in each packet so I can sort it all out and put it into different boxes. The outside packaging is opened, the inside packaging isn't. So everything is seen, if you know what I mean. Okay, so this wig, okay, yep. Yeah. Get it out of here. So I have a little wig cap thing there. So I'll keep that because I need that. And then, I just pulled that out on it. This is my wig. So it is the grey and black one. I only got one grey ombre wig. And that was, it was £10 and it was £7 postage. So all together £17. And let's have a look. Get off. Okay. So. This is the wig. Oh, paper in it. Okay, so that is actually a lot prettier than I thought it would be. It's so soft. Ooh, ooh, a bit tangled. Really soft, but, oh, oops. I have, it's molting already. That, that can't be good, honestly, really. But no, it looks, looks quite nice. The ombre is not brilliant, but hmm. Okay, so let's try it on. So I guess we've got to do this wig cap thing. I've never put one of these on before. I've no idea what I'm doing. It's like a little stocking. I like a, uh, hee hee, that's cool. Which way round does it go? I lost the wig to the floor. That's crap. Let's um take this off, which I accidentally left on when I did my makeup. I don't know how is best to do this. I suppose I just need to get my hair up. This is so strange. I don't want lumpy bits at the back. This is gonna look terrible, isn't it? So I could potentially just do that with my hair. I think I'm gonna need some, some like bobby pin type things. Let me get some bobby pins. Right. Let's see how we can do this. That there. I have no idea what I'm doing, I'm completely guessing. <laughs> I suppose that's flat enough for my wig cap. How is that supposed to go over your head? So if you go that way. <laughs> Excuse my funny faces, FYI. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. Do I look cool? I think I look amazing. Ta da Okay. <laughs> this is the first time I've ever put a wig on. It's gonna be interesting. So. If I do that, and then I do, and then I flip it over. Okay, it's on. Sort of. This is me with grey hair. So this is the wig. So if I pull it round, there we go. So, overall, let's, um, wow, this looks so, so false. Okay, so, let's see if I can, uh, Okay, let me tell you what it needs. It's got volume at the bottom, right? It's got a lot of volume at the bottom. 
and it just needs like some volume at the top because it's so flat so if you could like scrunch it and give it some volume and like it not be so flat here that is so annoying oh my god and this bit this bit of he this bit wow what what is this bit doing Ta da the black there is it's like it's so black here and then it sort of just goes like grey and it would be nice if the ombre 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 effect was like a bit more sort of layered down down the wig instead of it just being like a flonk on the head it's absolutely crazy but I think if you actually like were able to make it have volume it would look quite nice but I do actually have some hats so I'm gonna try a hat on. I have a massive selection of hats because I did hear that if you put a hat on, they don't look too bad. So let's go for my red bobble hat. Oh my gosh, that's actually so, so cute with a hat on. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, so with, with a hat on, because you can't see the roots, it looks like quite nice. I mean, it doesn't look like real hair. It actually looks like a wig, but it's it's not too bad. I could actually go out in this, like in the winter with the hat on. Oh, that's actually quite cute, but the bobble's a different color, so it looks weird. But I'm actually quite impressed that it looks good with a hat on. I could actually probably wear this. This is crazy. So overall, this one, the roots are terrible, but with the hat on, it's actually so cute. I really like it. I don't know if the colour actually suits my face, um, but it is really cute with a hat. Okay, so second wig, what have we got? What have we got? Ah, okay, so this is a turquoise ombre one, which should be, I think, similar to the other one that I've just tried on. So let's have a look, how much was this? Okay, so this one was also £10 and also had £7 shipping. So let's have a look and see what this one's like. So I'm guessing it's going to be pretty much the same as the other one. But you never know. So again, I've got another little wig cap. Different instructions, but the same cap, I assume. That on there. Oh. That one's a little bit softer than the grey one, I will say. And, oh, put that in it. The grey one had black on the inside. This has got like a beigey colour on the inside. But it seems pretty much the same. It is actually, if you look here, it is so thin. You can actually see where the seam is. That is so bad. This is going to be like a hat wig, I just know it. But. That is absolutely beautiful. That colour is so nice. If you're lucky enough to be able to dye your hair and you don't dye your hair this colour, I, I don't know what to say. That is gorgeous. Okay, so let's try it on and see what it looks like. So it does actually have bits that you can kind of attach it sort of behind your head. Sort of, you know, like if you're actually going out and wearing it and you didn't want it to move or anything. But this is the turquoise wig and wow it's so much nicer than the grey one it actually sits nicer let me just actually sits a little bit nicer it's such a shame it's so thin there look it's so thin but it's got that volume there that the grey one didn't have so I actually quite like this it's actually really sweet and it's so so soft but I'm going to do the hat test again and I'm going to see what it actually looks like with a hat on. I'm actually surprised that this one actually looks really nice. It's, it's a bit of a thumbs up from me actually without a hat on. But let's try it with a hat on and see what it looks like. Oh my god, this is not actually going to go over my wig. Yes, it will. It will if I force it. Okay. I'm totally set for winter. This looks amazing. <laughs> right, okay. I actually quite like this. It looks so, so cute. Oh my gosh. Okay, I might actually have to wear things like this in the winter with my hats, just because they look so cute. But overall, I like how this feels. 
and it's got more volume in the top so that's a big plus for me the parting doesn't look as fake so that's also a big plus for me and it looks really good with another sort of hat as well and it's just it doesn't look terrible whereas the other one didn't look too good so I'm gonna give this one a thumbs up because I really like it. It's it'll be great for like cosplay or fancy dress or anything, and I just I just really really like it. Right, so next one. Uh, oh, I don't know. Let's go for this one because it feels a bit thin. Oh, okay. So I think I have not had short hair for a very very long time. It takes me years to grow this and then I cut it here and then I regret it so I just grow it out for years. But this is a shorter wig, I'm sure it is. Yes, it is, it's a shorter one. And I just thought this would be really fun because I'm not a pinky purpley kind of person, I'm sort of a red kind of person. But this wig was 10 pounds again and the shipping was six pounds. So it's actually, um, the description is a new Lolita Harajuku blue and pink full wig. So this is going to be really interesting. So again, I have another wig cap. I'm just gonna have wig caps everywhere, aren't I? And this is the wig. So, oh, these things get stuck on me all the time, as per the other two. There we go. Oh, wow. <laughs> Oh my god, <laughs> that is so short, look at that! And it's got a little fringe, I'd forgotten it had a fringe actually. Okay, it's got a fringe. That is just bad. Whose hair colour is that? Do you know what, I might actually just have to go get some foundation and just put it on there to make it look like my skin colour. But it's so short, look at that. Can you imagine me in that? That's going to be so, so short. God. <laughs> but yeah, that's going to be interesting. So, uh, I think we should try it on. I look terrible with fringes, by the way, guys. You don't ever want to see me with a fringe. Well, you will today, but... <laughs> oh my God, that is horrendous. Wow. Hi. <laughs> wow, that is not good. I feel like I need to actually cut the fringe off, but this length of hair on me... <laughs> It's terrible. Oh my lord. <laughs> that is so weird. Wow. Okay. I need to get some scissors and actually cut this fringe. <laughs> this is... Unless... Are you supposed to... Let's try something, guys. Okay, no. I think I actually need to cut the fringe, don't I? Straighten that up a little bit. So I can side sweep the fringe. So, what do we think to me and... Short hair. I don't know. The thing is, if you've got a face shape that suits short hair, this would probably look really, really nice. But my face shape does not suit a fringe and it does not suit short hair. And this is like, <laughs> this is just so odd. So odd. Okay, so let's just do my little review. Okay, so it's not that bad a wig, really. You could actually get away with this um, it is quite thick, there's quite a lot of hair on there, and it does look like you've just got short hair and dyed it, so that's quite cool, I like that. The parting's not odd, really, probably use a bit of foundation in there, but it's not weird. It's not really, really thin, if you can see through it, you've got to really kind of dig to try and find where all the seams are. But for me, this doesn't <laughs> I don't think, anyway, if you think anything different, feel free to comment down below, but I don't think that this suits my face shape. But other than that, I think it's actually quite a good wig, especially for the amount that it costs, so it's not too bad. But we have to do the hat test. So I'm gonna have a look, see what hats I've got. I wear this hat all the time, so let me just see what this looks like. This is my every winter hat. I wear this all the time and I just pin it in place so it doesn't move. But, oh, actually that's really cute. <laughs> okay. Maybe if the hat was a slightly different color, it would look a bit better. 
yeah, maybe if the hat was a different colour, it would look slightly better. But this is so cute. Oh my god. You imagine if you're wearing like, I don't know, like a green dress or like a turquoise top or something. It would look so, so cute. And the more, I, <laughs> the more I look at myself in the mirror, now that I've got the hat on, I'm like, actually, it's... It does suit me when I'm wearing a hat, but it doesn't suit me when I'm not. Look at it from the side. I don't know. Yeah, the quality's good, but it's not the sort of wig that I would wear anywhere, unless I was like, and I don't cosplay. But if I was cosplaying, I would totally go out in this. Yeah, this one, I will have to say, doesn't really suit me, but I'll give it a thumbs up. Right, next one, I've got two left and I'm actually quite excited about both of them. Um, so let me just put my hand in and I'll just pick one out. I don't know which one I want. Which one's this? <laughs> okay. Ooh, this is gonna be really interesting. Look how thick that is. Oh my God. <laughs> right, so this one. I'm, I'm not going to tell you what it is until I actually get it out, okay? So on Wish, this cost £9 and £6 postage. I'm not going to read the description for the whole description because I want you to actually see it without me giving it away. But it is a curly, long, black, curly wig, okay? So <laughs> this is going to be brilliant. Oh, it's in a really nice packaging, actually. And I will explain why I got this. So a lot of people don't know this. Those that know me know that sometimes I joke about it, but I do actually have black relatives. <laughs> okay, so I have, well, I did have black relatives. Unfortunately, um, my uncles have actually passed away now and I absolutely love them to pieces. But I do have <laughs> quite a few relatives that are um, lily white like me, um, Apart from my auntie Shell, she she was quite a bit darker when she was a bit younger. My auntie Jack was as well. Um, but they are white women, and I have a white cousin who's male, and they have afros. And it's absolutely crazy to go out and see them. It's absolutely mental. So I thought it only fitting to buy like an afro curly wig. So with this, you get a comb because you have to have an afro comb. Oh my god, oh that's gonna be brilliant. And you get another wig cap. So I wonder what that one's gonna be like, same as all the others, I'm guessing. And then we have, it's got a tag on it. I did not realize it had a tag on it. Okay, so the tag is coming off. Yeah. Oh my god, where do I get in? All right, there we go. So, okay. I actually expected this to be a lot longer. On the picture, it was really, really long. It was like right down here. Oh wow, that is gonna be so interesting. I can't wait to try this on. Oh my gosh. Right, so where is the front and where is the back? Oh, okay, so that's the clip which actually goes in, goes in your hair and keeps it on your head, I suppose. The parting looks like it is slightly off center here. And do you know, it looks quite realistic actually. <laughs> this is quite cool. Oh my God, I cannot wait to try this on. <laughs> okay, right, I'm gonna try this on because this is either going to be a complete and utter disaster or it's going to look okay. And I think my mum and my cousins and my aunts are actually going to love seeing me in this. So let's try it on and see what I look like with curly, afro hair. Here's me with an afro and honestly black does not suit me at all. I'm too fair to have black hair. Okay this is really cool. I actually really like this. I love the feel of it. So so soft and you move it and it just swishes around and it's it's really heavy but I can imagine like if you actually pulled the curls out a little bit it would go slightly longer but on the picture it did it was actually really quite long so this wig would be absolutely brilliant if the colour black suits you and this kind of hairstyle suits you I don't actually think it suits me at all I don't know but at least I've got a free comb I can say I've got a free comb but what I'm gonna do is I'll try the hat test again and see what it looks like with a hat on okay so this is it with a hat on and I've got one of those little mini hat things and if I'm honest, it just looks so poofy with a hat on. Oh my God. Okay, 
So I think it actually looks better without a hat, but the hat does actually make it look cute. So I think if this kind of hairstyle suited you and the colour suited you, you could probably get away with a hat with it. But for me, this really doesn't suit me. So I do like it. I do think it's really nice. It is very soft and the curls bounce back. So it's, it is realistic. And the parting on it as well is quite realistic too. So you really could get away with it if you're one of those people that it actually suited. But for me, it doesn't suit. But I will give it a thumbs up. Okay, so last but not least and i know which one this is and i'm so excited for it and i think dan is gonna absolutely love this i hope he loves it anyway as a teenager my hair was constantly this color constantly all the time literally this exact color so with me being a little bit older by probably 12 years 12 13 14 years i actually want to try this wig on so so bad to see if this colour actually still suits me. If you don't know, and I'll probably do a little story time on this at some point, I actually had a really horrible reaction to dye when I was younger, which actually prevented me from actually continually dyeing my hair. Because I used to dye my hair all sorts of different colours, it just so happened that I dyed it a really dark colour and I reacted to it. But I'll do a story time on that because that's completely different to this video. But this is really cool because it means that I get to try different hair colours and not have to worry about anything and getting it out of my hair for work, things like that. Okay, so the very last wig and I'm so excited about it. Look at this colour. Oh, wow. So my hair has been this colour. It was this colour for so many years through high school, so... Guys, if you knew me through high school, you would know I am not lying about this colour. Wow, I love it. Okay, so before I open it, I'm gonna tell you the price. The price was nine pounds, shipping six pounds, and it's a long wavy symmetric copper red hair wig, blah, blah, blah. So, I was so excited about this, oh my God came really nicely wrapped actually, but I haven't got a wig cap. Oh, that's a shame, never mind. I'll use one of the other wig caps. So, oh my God, oh, look at that. Oh, wow, okay. Oh, look at the curl. That is a lot shorter than the picture. Wow, that is so much shorter. So yeah, we'll just have to do, uh, Wiggle some of these out. Ooh. I'm hoping it's going to be quite nice. It looks like it's got a bit of a fringe there. So <laughs> we'll see how that works. That's going to be interesting. It's got a side part which looks quite realistic actually. Well, it's kind of what hair would look like. But I'm so, so excited to try this one on. I'm so glad that this one was the last one I got out. So uh, yeah, let's get trying on. So it's still all a bit tangled together, but we can get that out. Oh, and by the way, the cat's appeared. So, <laughs> isn't he so cute? Hey, Lima. Brush it out a little bit. It is a bit curly. Yeah, the parting's odd. I don't know why they have the parting there. It's a bit strange. So yeah, I find the parting a little bit strange. And this weird fringy thing is so odd. It's so strange. Because, I don't know if you can see this, but they've got like, some sort of glue or something in it. That is so weird. I need to comb it out. Where's my afro comb? So the thing that I really find strange about this is the parting is like all the way down here. Who has a parting down there? It's just odd. But I'm gonna give it a brush, give it a brush. Okay, so this really needs just a comb out, really. It's almost like when they made it, they put like loads of glue and stuff in it. It's really odd. And let me just brush it out for a second. Okay, so I'm back and I've brushed the wig out and it is, honestly, it doesn't feel the greatest quality. You know, like the other wigs, especially the turquoise wig, that felt so soft and so nice. Whereas it seems like this, they've just put like glue on it everywhere, almost to hold it in shape. And it's such a shame because it would be a beautiful wig, but it just, it feels almost brittle. 
and it's not very good. And to be honest, I don't know if it's my hair, but I was talking about volume in the other ones, but this has got like a bit of a lump on the back, so I'm trying to squish it down so it doesn't look so weird. But the, I really, really like this wig. It is just a shame about how not very nice it is. It's not soft, but I also think the curls don't do it any justice. I think it would be nicer if it was just straight. So I might have to try straightening it at some point and then I'll try it back on. But as you've noticed, what I've actually done is I've put on a little bit of red lipstick so that you can actually see what it looks like with some red lipstick. And I think it looks quite nice. Like I said, it's just a shame about the quality. And the side parting, this is odd. This is really odd, why would you do that? I mean, I, I get why you, the fringe is there. It looks quite cool, but it is definitely definitely not practical. I mean, I was like, Ugh. Ugh. when I was trying to put the lipstick on, I was just like, that is not working. So, but do you know what? Overall, I do quite like this. It's just a shame about the quality of it. It could have been a bit nicer. And I think it would have been my favorite if it was actually a bit nicer. But overall, I do kind of still think that red does kind of still suit me a bit. Um, I don't think I would actually ever dye my hair red ever again. Um, there are a few reasons why, medical reasons why I can't dye my hair. I think it's a little bit too garish and I'm not really much of a garish person anymore, unlike in my teen years where I kind of was. You know, if you're really into kind of like rockabilly and stuff, you could wear this and you could have like a little hat scarf on it and it'd look really, really cute. You know, pop a polka dot dress on, it'd be absolutely flying. It'd be fantastic. But as with all the other wigs, we need to do a hat test and I think I have the perfect hat for this lovely little red wig. So I'm just gonna pop that on and we'll see what it looks like with a hat on. Oh my God, so what do you think? I absolutely love this. Wow, I so love this. It is so cute, look at that. And do you know what? Now it hides the bumpy bit up here and you can't really see the, the top of it. It actually looks a lot better, I think, in my opinion. I'm probably completely wrong, so do feel free to tell me if I am completely wrong. But yes, it looks lovely in this hat, and it is so wintry. Oh, it's so nice. So I might go out during the Christmas holiday season and actually wear this and see what people actually think of my red hair and my awesome hat. And then I'll pop, pop on a Christmas dress as well because I have so many Christmas dresses. It's Crazy. But that is it for this video, so if you do like it, do feel free to give a great big thumbs up, show the channel some love, we'd really appreciate it. And also, down below, let me know which one was your favourite wig in the comments. Overall, I do like all of the wigs, I think they're all very individual and I think, depending on who you are and what suits you, you know, they are good wigs for the prices paid. But in regards to quality and what it actually looked like when you first initially put it on, I really, really liked the turquoise wig. I was blown away by that. And when I ordered it, I actually thought, oh my God, this is gonna look horrendous on me. I thought it'd be absolutely terrible, but no, turns out that is probably my favorite one out of a lot of them. The only reason why the red one is not my favorite out of a lot of them is because the quality is really, really poor. I don't know if it's something to do with the dye, I don't know if it's something to do with the glue kind of stuff that they actually put in the fringe underneath, but the quality wasn't great. But I still think it looks really, really nice. And if the quality was better, it would be by far my favorite wig that I have tried on. So if you do want to see more videos like this, and there will be more, do feel free to subscribe down below and hit the notification bell so you know every time I upload a new video. But that's it from me guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!